What's up, everybody? This is Stephen Robles, the Bearded Teacher here. And today I want to talk to you about some of my favorite podcast microphones that I have used personally over the years. I've been podcasting for 15 years now, from beginner microphones, intermediate to advanced, and what I think is the best options really for anyone just starting out in podcasting. The microphone I recommend for everyone just starting out in podcasting, or if you want a good microphone for when you travel, is this microphone right here. This is the Audio-Technica ATR2100X, and I love this microphone for multiple reasons. First of all, it's a USB and XLR microphone. That's a USB-C jack right there. That means you can connect this directly to an iPad or a computer and record just with this microphone, no audio interface needed. And then when you're ready to step up, it has that XLR connector, so you can actually use this with an audio interface with other XLR microphones. It's $100 on Amazon, usually ships in like a day. It's an awesome first microphone. One recommendation I have is to use a pop filter. It is pretty sensitive microphone, so it'll get a lot of room noise or echo and other stuff like that. So I would try to find a good, safe recording environment and then also use a pop filter. You can get these on Amazon for like, 10 bucks for six of them or 10 of them. I'll put links to the microphone and the pop filters in the video description so you can pick those up. But again, $100, it's a great first podcasting microphone and great for travel if you podcast regularly and you need a good option when you're on the move. Now this next microphone is a great step up and I actually used this for many years in some professional recording setups. I did the Apple Insider podcast for several years using this microphone. It is the Shure Beta 87A. It's about $250 on Amazon and it is an XLR microphone. You do need an audio interface with this, but you don't need a super powerful audio interface. I actually for many years used this, the Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. It can drive that Shure Beta 87 a just fine and it sounds great again it's a great sounding microphone really has a warm sound it's actually marco Arment's top microphone in his big microphone review and i used it for many years i really love this microphone i'll still use it sometimes so the sure beta 87a again about 250 dollars. i'll put a link to this microphone as well on amazon i would recommend getting a not only this pop filter which is kind of thin and goes on top of it but also you might want to get an additional pop filter screen that goes over it to get even more plosive protection, if you know what I mean. Now, if you really wanna go with an advanced microphone, maybe one that you've seen on popular podcasts like the Joe Rogan Experience, you can go with this one. This is the Shure SM7B, very popular microphone. You see a lot of people using this thing. If you go with the Shure SM7B, it's about $400, depending on where you buy it. It's a good value. Again, you need an expensive audio interface to run it, but it sounds good. And if you don't have a very forgiving recording environment, it's a good option. But there's a couple things you need to know about the Shure SM7. It is very gain hungry. What that means is you need a very powerful audio interface to run it. You can try to run it with something like the Scarlett 2i2 or they have like the 18i8 and things like that, but you're gonna be cranking that volume knob all the way up. And when you do that, you start getting that hiss in the background. That's because it doesn't have enough power to run a microphone like the Shure SM7B. So you do need a more powerful audio interface to run the SM7. A couple recommendations for that. I actually use a Sound Devices Mix Pre 3. It's about $750, but it is more than powerful enough to run the Shure SM7, even if you're running multiple of those microphones into it. And I love it because it's also a field recorder, has an SD card slot so you can record backups to it. It's one of my favorite audio interfaces and it's what I use every week with the Shure SM7. A couple other audio interface options. Universal Audio has some great products that can run this kind of microphone. They have like their Apollo series. Those all run about seven, $800 or higher. Some people say you can use a cloud lifter with the Shure SM7 and it gives you enough gain. I find that to not be a great solution. If you're gonna go with this microphone, I recommend using one of those more expensive audio interface options because they're more powerful. Two more mic recommendations because you might've seen these around or Again, everyone's voice is different, so your voice actually might sound better using a different microphone. A lot of popular podcasts use the Neumann KMS 105 MT. This is a condenser microphone, so again, you might need a kinder recording environment, one that's not too echoey because it'll pick up a lot of stuff. It's about $700 microphone. 
Again, many popular podcasts use this microphone. Mike Hurley, who runs Relay FM with Stephen Hackett, he uses this microphone for his shows. So again, it's a great sounding microphone and you don't need as powerful of an audio interface to run it. Again, it's about a $700 microphone. The Shure SM7, if I forgot to mention, is about $400. So a little less microphone, but you need a more powerful audio interface. And finally, you'll see this microphone sometimes in a lot of radio setups. I use this microphone when it's on the radio here in Central Florida. It's the Electro Voice RE20 broadcast announcer microphone. It's about $450, but it's a great sounding microphone. Again, you'll see podcasters and radio hosts use this microphone alike. Again, you won't need that crazy expensive audio interface to run it. You can probably run it with the Scarlett interface. But again, depending on your voice, it might sound great in this microphone, $450 for that. If you're interested in any of the microphones that I talked about in this video or the audio interfaces, I'll leave Amazon affiliate links below in the video description. And I also have a new Skillshare class. If you'd like to learn more about podcasting equipment, I go in depth about headphones, audio interfaces, microphones, travel gear, and I have a Skillshare class on that. I'll put a link to that class in the video description as well. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a like, subscribe to the video and hit that bell icon as I post more videos about technology, Apple products, how-tos, podcasting, maybe even website creation. If you're interested in that, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm the Bearded Teacher. You can follow me at Stephen Robles on Twitter. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.